Hi, my name is Dan. In this segment, we're going to be discussing PTO Manager for Microsoft Dynamics GP. PTO Manager is a feature that you can add to Dynamics GP payroll that gives you more advanced features for accruing vacation and sick time during payroll processing. Some of these advanced features include flexible accrual schedules, maximum balance options, and waiting periods. If you have these advanced requirements, then PTO Manager may be right for you. PTO Manager is an alternative to accruing vacation and sick time and human resources attendance. Now let's go ahead and take a look at PTO Manager, and we're going to begin by setting up the accrual schedules. The first step in setting up PTO Manager is to configure the accrual schedules. We do that in the accrual schedule setup window. Within the accrual schedule setup window, we can go ahead and select an accrual schedule that's already been configured. We are selecting the full time vacation schedule. You see that we have a schedule code as well as a schedule description. We then have several options for configuring our range. We can select the range to be based on hours worked per pay period, hours worked so far in the year, hours worked life to date, or years worked. Years worked is the most common configuration within PTO Manager. The range will determine which calculation factor gets applied to the employee. As you can see in this example, an employee that works less than five years has a calculation factor of .0385 multiplied times the number of hours that they work within the pay period. We also have this configured so that the employee earns a maximum of 3.08 hours according to the accrual schedule. The maximum hours can be based on per pay period variable, per year fixed, per year variable, or per pay period fixed. We have it set to per pay period variable. In the next row, employees that work between 5 and 10 years with the organization have a calculation factor of .05769 multiplied times the number of hours that they work within the pay period. These calculation factors are examples based on employees accruing 80 hours per year, 120 hours per year, and 160 hours per year respectively. These are just examples. The accrual schedules can be configured according to any business requirement. Once the employee crosses a key anniversary date, they will automatically earn time according to the next range. Let's go ahead and save that accrual schedule. Our accrual schedule is now complete. PTO Manager gives us the ability to set up flexible accrual schedules by providing us with several choices for the range, configurable calculation factors, and accrual schedule maximums. Now, let's go assign our employees to use this accrual schedule. The next step is to configure the employee to utilize the accrual schedules. We do that in the Employee PTO Setup window. As we select our employee, we'll see that their settings are already in place. We'll walk through them and describe them. The Use Custom Accrual method turns on PTO Manager for this employee. We can then assign the vacation accrual schedule. Here we are assigning our full-time vacation schedule. We could also assign a supplemental vacation schedule, then also assign sick schedules for the employee as well to accrue sick time. Once we have the schedules assigned, we can then set up waiting periods for the employee. A waiting period can be used if you have an employee that begins accruing time on their hire date, but cannot take any of that time off until some point in the future, for example, three months from their hire date or six months from their hire date. You can also make that process repetitive by utilizing the recurring waiting period feature, which means that an employee accrues time once per year based on all the hours that they worked in the previous year. Those hours will be stored in the hours pending field and not shown as available to the employee. Next we'll move on to the vacation maximums. The allow carryover options enforce a use it or lose it policy which is an annual check on the employee's balance. This can be checked on calendar year or on the employee's anniversary date. The other maximum that is available is the total maximum hours. This is checked each time vacation or sick time is accrued. Here we're basing the maximum on a schedule. So as the employee attains more years of service, their maximum automatically increases according to the schedule. 
The other option is to set this maximum to be a fixed amount so that it never changes. In this case, we'll stick with the maximum schedule. At the bottom of the screen, we have additional fields for life-to-date hours worked for both vacation and sick time, and year-to-date accrued time for both vacation and sick time. These data elements will be used in the accrual schedules that we've defined. When using PTO Manager, the employee's vacation and sick time balances are stored on the employee maintenance card within Dynamics GP. Because PTO Manager stores the balance information on core Dynamics GP tables, the information is available in all the standard Dynamics GP reports, as well as in the Employee Self-Service Suite of the Business Portal. We have now configured the employee to utilize PTO Manager. To review, we began by assigning them to the accrual schedule. Then we configured other options for the employee, such as the waiting periods and maximum options. The employee's vacation and sick time will automatically be calculated during payroll processing. The updated balance information will then be available in Dynamics GP, on the employee's check stub, and in the employee self-service section of the business portal.